Peace, love, and light, Scorpios. I hope the sun is shining wherever you are and you're living in your greatest purpose. Scorpios, thank you for all your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. We are on the road to 10K. Thank you for your support in getting there. Personal readings are being offered at this time. All information can be found in the community tab as well as the description box. Um, I have, for many of you who have inquired about personal readings, I have a few slots open this week for those who are interested in booking um, same day readings. Okay, so I have some available. Let's get into your messages. Mm. I was just going to say turn on the light. Let's turn on the light. Turn on the lights and light a candle. <laughs> mm. For some that might mean something. Perhaps some request, some demand that you have from your spirit guides. Hmm. As we speak, I'm getting like a left eye energy. Some of you may have actually been experiencing like a twitching sensation in your eye. Mm, that may be significant. I'm seeing that um, this is part of like the signs of your spirit guide speaking to you, giving you messages. It's like nudging you in signs. I know we, um, we've we looked into like the ringing of the ears. I'm getting some energy about like the eyes twitching. That might be significant. It's almost like a involuntary kind of twitch. Leave a comment if, um, if this is something you've experienced recently or at some point. High Priestess again. Okay, messages for Scorpios. Hmm. Okay, this may be about, um, this message may be about connecting the past to the present, past cycle, 3-3 three, three may be significant, there may be a portal, portal of some sort that your spirit guides are connecting you to, are opening up for you, especially within this cycle. Mm, something about an opening something opening for you three of wands <laughs> for some of you I'm really getting a strong energy of travel still a very strong energy of travel three three is an opening Perhaps the opening to travel. Tell me about the world card. I'm getting a lot of images here. High Priestess comes out again. This time, the High Priestess stays. Mm, okay. I'm hearing the ones that are significant are these, for whatever reason. The High Priestess, Root of Earth, Father of Water, the Shadow signifying the Moon card which showed itself previously. 
and then the chariot so the high priestess something about your intuition the number two could be significant Mm. my intuition is my direct channel to divine spirit stop searching for answers meaning power everywhere but inside yourself some of you may some of you may actually be looking for answers about moving going somewhere you may be waiting for something outside of yourself to take some kind of action and this is inspired action. And your spirit guides are telling you it's called inspired action for a reason. Ooh, 11, which equals 2, 2, 2. Okay. This is your relationship to your spirit guides, like you trusting. It's time, it's, I'm hearing it's time to trust your relationship with your spirit guides. And being in the King of Cups energy has everything to do with it. It's time to trust that. Like right now, it may be challenging to trust it because you don't see it. This represents the moon card. See, 18. This represents the moon card. Yep. It says, watch your back. Caution, danger up ahead. This is a time of illusions. Okay. I'm seeing for you it's not this. Hmm okay maybe it is it says if they tell you the sky is blue check dishonesty deception trust your intuition see that's the same thing here trust your intuition the high priestess and the moon is all about your intuition some of you need to trust your intuition in terms of like some decision some action that you're willing like the, you're wanting to Take it may be that you're embarking on something new. Uh, your inner voice is screaming to get your attention. There's more to the situation than meets the eye. Uh, mm. Okay, something hidden, something unseen, and then you trusting what you don't see, trusting, trusting, distrusting, uh, oh, seven, this is you, take a deep breath, buckle up, you will overcome a challenge, there's a challenge showing up by way of some action that you're trying to take to move towards something um your vision is meeting your drive call your power back it's saying to take charge again which is very similar to this energy of inspired action Take charge. Mm, let's see. Your spirit guides want you to trust your intuition um, because there's some something that you're needing an inspiration. And it seems like it may actually be coming outside of yourself. And your spirit guides are wanting you to balance something out. Perhaps a chakra. So you can claim some sort of a power back. Okay, tell me about the world card. Phew. Lies. See, this is this is that stuff that's hidden. So 
someone may be lying to you someone may be says lies deviousness this is the mm, king of wands someone may be someone may be trying to tell lies about you so they can come up so they can so they can show up as the person having reason this person may be telling stories specifically to cause conflict this may be a queen of cups cancer pisces scorpios mm. that either you have a connection to or that person has a connection that's related to you for whatever reason hmm. high priestess this person this person three three an opening so your spirit guys could be saying that there may be an opening regarding someone that's showing up in your energy that may be causing problems by way of like causing conflict perhaps even lying and telling things that are not true tell me more about the world card mm. this is someone that's trying to keep you stuck keep you from moving forward it's like you see right here it's like right here it's showing that it's like the world card shows like a portal is open there's an opportunity open for you and here you are it's like this opportunity is open and you just you're just looking at the portal open for whatever reason you're afraid to go through it or you something's keeping you from going through it And it may actually even be something that's good for you, yet you may doubt. Like this high priestess knows what's good for the high priestess. There's something, tell me about the three of wands. Hmm. It's like they're trying to turn the wheel or keep it stagnant. Trying to cause setbacks. Really, it's it's someone that's trying to keep you stuck. And for whatever reason, I get this energy of this like Queen of Cups again. Someone, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio is like a feminine energy. That's, cr that's trying to cause setbacks. possible female figure mm, trying to cause whew, trying to cause some sort of a disconnection for some of you it's a divorce for some it has to do with like a financial situation perhaps your stability uh, this person's this person's at it <laughs> yep This person's very determined. What are they determined about? Hmm. 
They moving in quick, like a thief in the night, to cause, um, to betray. Look at that. Person's quick with it. This person's using possibly their gift of gab or like this person's able to like really make up stories easily. Tell me about the three of wands. Hmm. I'm so I'm seeing like uh, water energy show up. I'm seeing an energy of someone leaving home. It could be a possibly like a family figure that you release from your energy. That may trying to get you to come back. Uh, four of Wands, Reunion. It could just be that this person's creating scenarios to like make you then take the initiative to to bring them back. It's like some psychological game. Anything else you want us to know? I keep getting a very strong feminine, like, water sign energy. Ten of, ten of cups. It's like this person has nothing better to do than to, like, disrupt some family dynamic for you. Um... Someone who's hasty, someone who's concerned about, who's possibly concerned with financial gain, because I see greed here. This person's willing to do anything to cause a disruption in this family for some of you. Mm -hmm. Who is this person? See, like, this person's energy is, like, even challenging to pick up, which may say a lot about them in terms of, like, really who they are. Like, it may even be challenging for you to know who this person is. In fact, I'm seeing that many of you never knew who this person really was. And it's like, this is a family member. Seven sisters, creativity. This may be a sibling. 43. It says, a season of great harvest is a season of great epiphanies. You're prospering. Something about sowing the seeds that you have owned. I'm seeing that perhaps you're getting ready to reap something that, that this person is. This person may be creating scenarios before you get there.
something have, having to do with your creativity. Letting your inner child awaken to your cre creativity. Hmm. It says the seven sisters were mystical Nolan's family of identical um, identical master psychics, conjure women who never age. One's a shape shifting woman. It says create, create, create. You come from conjures creators your gifts is to multiply your magic you are cosmic see it could just be that you're on your way to like multiplying what you already have and someone's like sending like evil eye energy it's almost like like this this portal that i see is open right It's almost like you're wanting to go, you're wanting to go through it. You're getting ready to. The world is three, the three of wands. It's a, it's a portal opening that for whatever reason you going through it through it may have to do with some hesitation which may have to do with somebody else's energy that's showing up okay <laughs> so it's a very interesting and bizarre kind of message like it's really just showing like you have some cleanup to do possibly from your energy or perhaps releasing people still not allowing people in And trusting your energy as this high priestess. And I'm hearing literally there's no way that whoever it is that's getting in. That is the message. Scorpios, if this message resonates, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time, love, peace, divine light.